Nicholas, Sammy Sosa, Kent Merker to right. Sosa's 11th, 1 0 Cubbies. In the fourth, same score, Reggie Sanders. Yeah, but look at the play Sean Dunstan makes. He lays out, gets to his feet quick, makes the one hot bounce that you can do on the asshole turf. That is a planned throw. Terry Pendleton at the plate. Brian McRae there and hangs on. Bottom of the six, Sanders now at the plate. Over second, Sandberg is there to make the great play. Bottom nine is 3 1. Runner on first is one down. Hal Morris at the plate. Reggie Sanders off first, goes to second. Watch close as he slides into the bag and you couldn't see it, but on the play, Reggie Sanders. Red's luck is worse than bad. Gonna be lost for several weeks. The doctor said a sprain on the inside of the ankle. And in his last seven games, top of the seventh, the base hit to center off Pedro Estacio. Smoltz has now hit safely in seven of his last eight games. The next hitter up is Kenny Lofton. Lofton rips one to left field. Eric Anthony robs him of extra bases. Lofton 0 for 4 is averaged down to 357. Then Kenny does a poor Anthony imitation. The Greg Gagne routine fly. That's what happens when you take your gold glove to center field. Something bad. Smoltz saves Lofton on the mound, striking out Raul Mondesi to end the eighth. Braves win at 4 to 2. Smoltz has four wins in his last six starts as the Braves beat Estacio for the ninth straight time. Bra Playing well. Kevin Seitzer, two words, professional hitter. Brady Anderson, oh, a professional center fielder. Great play. Bottom two, ugliness. Well, sometimes when a ball gets tapped, you already got your momentum made up how fast you're going to go. He overruns that ball. Justice, waiting, yanking, fair. Franco goes to third. Manny Ramirez, his average has climbed about 70 points in a couple of weeks. Why? For this reason. They weren't getting through in the beginning of the year. They are now. Rodney can't come up with a two-run single. It's 2-1. We're going to add some salt to the wound. A little insult to injury. Key walked Tony Fernandez, who hit Chris Hoyles in the head with his bat. Hoyles is okay. But for Key's counterpart, Chad OJ, they went fine. Davis went. Davis went. Davis going, going good. How about Chad OJ? Nine strikeouts, career high. Two hits. Boy, what about Cleveland? 68 of the rundown. He was wild early. Or was it? Well, that was a squeeze on right there. When you see the runner coming down, you told him to throw it at the hitter. And yeah, that's what he did. Chili Davis on in the third. Joe Vidiello. Somebody ate their Vidiellos today. First home run of the year. Royals up four zip. Mariners cut it to 4 3. Jay Buhner up two on. Belcher, Buhner, Buhner. His fourth straight game with a home run. Mariners sub 6 4. Junior in the seventh. Ripped it. Joe Vidiello. Vidiello's the first baseman playing right field. What a tremendous play. Keep it away from Middles. Junior up in the ninth. 21. He kept it away from everybody. Yeah. He grasped on it. 8 4. M's over the Royals. Junior, who was only hitting the game, but he's hitting the ball hard. One for five. Buter home run with his ninth. First batter in the fourth is Adrian Brown. Look out. Madre Cummings staring. Mark Johnson watching. Pedro Martinez got nine of the first 13 he faced with K's. Steve Cook. Uh oh. Drop the ball. Cook. Cut the ball. Glove saving a beauty. 1-0 Pirates, more nice D from Steve Cook. Ball took a wicked pop and got him! We're playing wiffle ball with Cookie. Steve Cook against Darren Fletcher to right. What is Jose Guillen doing? What's the hustle by Vladimir Guerrero here? Pick this up and get in there. Great anticipation because the catcher and the pitcher were in the right place. Dave Waynehouse on a pitch, he gets wild. Aaron Fletcher from third scores. Montreal up 2-1. They go on and win by a final score of 4-1. Pedro, 8-0. Talked about Clemens, talked about Key. Pedro says he did with a runner on second. Will Cordero singles in Darren Bragg in the eighth. The bullpen didn't get it done. Tied at three. Top of the eighth still. Torrey brings in Graham Lloyd. He ends up walking move on intentionally. Then he brings in Brian Bowringer. Pinch hitter Mike Stanley. Think he enjoys playing at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, yeah. 
Three run home run. Opposite field. Red Sox up 6 3. The thing that makes them so effective in Yankee Stadium is he goes so well to right field in the short porch. He takes advantage of that. All right, bases are loaded. Tino Martinez with an infected toe. Is this Willis Reed? He steps up to the plate. Is this Kirk Gibson? He's got a chance against Jim Corsi. Ooh, he just didn't look good. That was a nasty pitch right there. The Yankees have lost five in a row. Aaron Seeley keeps the Yanks in check. He's four in a row winning Padres at a bi-coastal battle. Wally Joyner, first inning, taking Alex Fernandez deep to right for a two-run homer. Joyner's fourth of the year, two-nothing Padres. Marlins defense keeping it close. John Flaherty knocking it to right. Watch John Cangelosi rob him with a diving catch. Quicker than you can say, Cangelosi. Top of the eighth. Marlins trailing 3-2. Runners at first and third. Charles Johnson lines one up the middle, but Terry Shumpert makes the play, throws the first, double play. Padres hold on to win it. 6-3 as Fernando gets his first win in seven starts. Padres Estes facing Gary Gaetti in the fourth. Two on, two out, no score. Glenn Allen Hill gets a bad jump, but recovers. He Estes will say, wow, the Cardinals would not get another base that run. Wow, That's wow. Bottom of the fourth, first and second, one out. Matt Morris and Tom Lampkin get crossed up. Jose Vizcaino gets the third and scores on a ground out by Bonds. That would be all Estes needed. He gets Willie McGee swinging, his fifth strike out of the game to end a two-hit shutout. Estes retiring the last 16 batters. Bottom of the third, tied at three. Ellis Burks at the plate. Here it comes. There it goes off of Donnie Wall. And this ball's going over the wall. Burks has homered in four straight games. Rockies take a 4-3 lead. Top eight. Astros down 8-6 with a man on at first. Darren Holmes on the mound facing Ricky Gutierrez. Oh! He bobbles it, and there's no play. Everybody's safe. And then Astros down by a run. Bases loaded. Sean Barry. Holmes knocks this one down and does get the out at first as the Rocks hang on to win 8-7. Ellis Burks with his uh, with fourth. Robinson's number 42. Rachel Robinson on hand. She's a huge Kirby fan, she says. Bottom two, twins down, one zip. Steve Carsey pitch in the dirt. George Williams did a nice job to block it. I don't think Darren Jackson knew he was going to be able to do that. Bornigal takes off for a second. Steinbach throws down. Well, that's just communication right there. You let them know before the pitch who's going to cover and, and catch it ends up getting the air. Bottom three, Molly up with Knobloch on second. Molly, Knobloch, you miss Puckett. One of Molitor's five hits on the night ties a career high. The fifth five-hit game of his career. Twins down 2-1. Jason Giambi to right center. This Cooper. Is, this is one of the fastest astroturfs in the American League. You don't play deep enough to cut a ball off. That's what's going to happen to you. Grocious and Maceo score. How about Pat Mears? Oh, Grocious, a diving stab. And the A's. Well, the seat goes tomorrow. The number gets retired on Sunday. Eads it off. Nubber. Guzman. Mess. That's an error. It lead to an unearned run. Top of the second. Three zip. Phillips on first. Erstrad at the mess. Phillips would go to third. That's Guzman's second error. In the third, it's 4 1. Tim Salmon on first. Garrett Anderson to Guzman. Disaster. Ball at the center. Salmon goes to third. Third error on Guzman. A new Jays. Record for a pit. Oh, wow. Wild pitch. Salmon scores 5 1 Angels. After an Alley say a walk, De Sarcina steps up. This didn't look like Guzman had anything on the ball. Well, it was a little hit me slider right there. He just wanted to try to get the ball over the plate. When you're throwing the ball all over the ballpark, you just want to try to get it over the plate, Carl. Six unearned runs for the Angels, who have scored 41 in their last three. <laughs> uh oh. Early on, G. Williams. And. Gerald Williams has left the building. That put the brew crew up. Albert trying to keep a hitting streak alive. If this drops, he's got 18 straight. And he does. Not a lot of offense for the White Sox. Hold on, hold, and he goes through it. Scores anyway. Right direct to the sign. Sometimes the runner knows best. Deep. Gone. And Albert watched it leave. White Sox couldn't muster any offense. The Brewers do 4 1. How about Scotty Carl? Now 2 and 5. Gerald Williams and against the Phils, Bernard Gilkey. Two words. Well, we're pointing it out. Sorry, give him your two words. <laughs> Yard work. <laughs> Fourth of the season, 1 0 Mets. Bronya. Gilkey. Out of room. Oh. Bronya ends up on second with a double. Two batters later, Kevin Stalker. 
deep and off the center field wall for another Dublé. Bronia scores, tied at one. Stalker would later score in a Jeffrey single. 2-1, Philly. Top three. Phillies turning on the D. Well, this is the play of the game right here. It's a 2-1 ball game at the time. Look at Mickey Morandini come out, cut this ball off, gets it back in in time where they have to hold up Olerud. The Mets don't score. And that was a turning point of the whole ball game right there. Big, big play. Top of the eighth, 2-1 fills. They're loaded with one down. Vitalico on the mound, facing Baerga. 360 lifetime hitter with the bases loaded. And there's one out. Edgardo Alfonso's tagging. Perfect throw. Phillies hang on to win 2-1. to one. What were you going to say about Gilkey? Well, Gilkey opened up his stance, Carl, and therefore it was allowing him to bring his hands through. He swung the back.